guys come back guys to this chapter where we'll be where we're going to be detailing this knife so now that we have this knife in here let me get a closer view on this Let's see okay that's fine so let me let me kind of change my workspace kind of like this particular one I can see the brushes in here as I should so this is fine so uh, now we need to subdivide this mesh to subdivide this mesh first of all let me let me solo this let me solo this down here or oh, better still I'll just go to my transform or click on solo okay so I have just this knife piece in here is fine yeah I think there's one, one other thing I need to do is to check the poly groups of this so if I take old shift and hit shift and F on my keyboard check this check the poly group that's been added in here let me see if check the poly group that's been added in here Let me do a group by a group by UV. Let me see. Let's do a group by UVs. Uh, let me try auto group. Yeah, auto group is fine for now. If there's any, any need to group by UVs, I will do that. But for now, this is fine. So shift F to go back to this. Okay. Um. Geometry, so I need to subdivide this now. So I'll divide this, divide this again. That's fine for now. There's any, any need to go to raise that up? I will. So oh, I will click on the open bracket to increase my brush size, or you can do that from up here. So now I can see some, and this color just seems to okay. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe I'll divide that a bit more. Okay, even better. So now I'm starting some kind of build up on this, some um, surface build up on this. No, that seems to be eating into the mesh. When it's supposed to be doing the opposite of that. Something seems to be wrong, but this is in the opposite. It's supposed to add, it's supposed to add, add like some build up on this, but instead it's in the opposite. Maybe I need to close and maybe I need to reopen. I think I need to reopen ZBrush. First of all, let me save, let me save these documents and then reopen ZBrush. Okay, guys, welcome back. I've, I've tried to kind of fix this, but seems like it's a bug. It's a bug in ZBrush. Let me show you what I mean. So if I should, let me change the workspace. Change my workspace. Something like this. Now, if I should turn on symmetry on this, turn on symmetry on this. If I should do this, you see it works here, and then it's it has an issue on the other side. If I should turn off symmetry, if I should do this, now it's kind of working properly on the other side also. Don't know why it's like that, but maybe it's a bug or something. But that really sucks. So if I'm to use this clay too, if I should try and do this in here, now it's supposed to pull out, but it's digging in, which is not supposed to be. Same thing with these two. It's digging in. It's supposed to pull. It's supposed to build up, but it's digging in, which is bad. And that that's not how it's supposed to be. Now, just watch this knife. I should them. Um, 
control okay all control and shift and click on this on this poly group to just isolate that if i should go to my um i go to my scale tool if i should scale this out like so go back to draw tool what my draw to now if i should do this now go to my clue tool turn on symmetry if i should build this now see it's building up in here and it's digging in at the other side and again my mash is not it's not that thing for it to be acting weird it's not supposed to be, be that way it's definitely not supposed to act that way but if i should turn off symmetry now and i do this Now it's working correctly at the other at the other side, but I do not want my I don't want my I don't want my knife to be as thick as this. I definitely don't want my mouth to be as thick as this. Let me try the dam standard too. We're just looking for better ways to make this work. So I hit D. It should be V. Uh, them standard let me pull this guy down here so select the them standard soon so let me see if this is on symmetry so now it's on symmetry let me do a cut in here let me see if it's work at the other side so this two is this two is working correctly at the other side Let me undo all this. I don't want this to be like this. I don't know why it's just acting weird. I don't know why it's acting weird. So I'm, I want my knife like this, but still be able to, but still be able to add that build up. But it's not working as it should. So I have another, I have another idea in mind. Uh, let me see if that will work. So I'm going to. Let's do uh where is it? Let me look for this. Yeah, auto maxing max by poly groups or take this way up. I don't see if this will actually fix this for me. Nope, it's not. <clears throat> let me see if I should now now if you notice I'm having one group on this, so let me group by UVs now. I'm just looking for ways that might help us fix this. If not, we just look for the we just look for the available option for us to use and then just let me try something else. Now the auto maxing is supposed to respect is supposed to respect each um poly group. In, in the sense that when you have like um a poly group in here, okay, let me just do let me just do let me just do an auto group by UVs. Poly poly group. UV groups, okay, auto groups by with UVs. So as you can see, there's a poly group, there's a poly group up here. There's another one at the back, different poly groups. So it's supposed to respect each particular poly group I'm on to sculpt, without without affecting or influencing any other poly group. So let me see if this will actually make my clay build up work correctly as it should. So I'll go back in here. Let me go back to my sub divs. Let me take this up. So let me do. Let me try this. So this is respecting the other side. It's not no before we had just one single poly group in there. It was not respecting the other side. We're kind of digging into the other side. But now is it's respecting the poly group, but it's still not acting the way it's supposed to work. It's supposed to build up on this. It's supposed to build up. Let me turn on my let me turn on symmetry. Turn on symmetry, I'm adding on to this. So it's respecting the other side also. Is my symmetry actually turned on? Let me see. I think it's off. Yeah, I think it's off. Uh Is my symmetry on or off? 
let me check correctly let me zoom in here take this process down so my symmetry is, my symmetry is actually turned on now let's try let's try this again now is this is <laughs> Is building up and digging at the same time. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe it's a bug or something. It's not supposed to act that way. It's definitely not supposed to act that way. Now I'm just showing you guys just in case your own begins to act really weird. Let's see. Uh, to the other side. Mm, it's, resp it's respecting the auto maxing on this. So unfortunately, we won't be able to. To use our clay build up, but we kind of you we use our let me turn this off. We just use our standard bro. Standard blocks watch works correctly. See, now it's kind of working well, but I don't know. But it's digging in at the same time. It's supposed to just do just one, not do both. Let me see the other side. It's trying to work correctly. I don't know. This should be a bug or something. But anyways, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's not waste too much time on this. So I'm trying to add some. As you can see, there's, 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 there's a kind of depth in here. A kind of depth in here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, let me let me um let me open up Photoshop so I can show you guys what I mean. So I'm, I'm opening this here. Let me let me get this on here like so. Put this guy here. So now, now, now as you can see, you notice that there's some kind of depth in here. There's some kind of there's a depth in here, something like this. There's a depth in here. We have a depth in here. Around here. You notice that there's some kind of depth in here. We're having some depth in here and here also. But here it's kind of flat. It's kind of flat in here. So I'm going to kind of add that depth in here. So as you can see, I'm just trying to add that build up in there. Also, there's another kind. There's another build up around. There's a build up also around here. There's a build up around here. There's another one. Yeah. Okay. There's another one around here also. But it, but it has some kind of transition to it. It has a kind of yeah, it's kind of flat. Yeah, it's flat. Yeah, there's some kind of depth in here. Kind of depth in here. Yeah, it's still kind of flat. Yeah, it's flat also. Yeah, it's kind of flat. So I want to kind of mimic that kind of that kind of transition on my on on the knife in ZBrush. So um, let me bring this closer around here. Set this in position like so. I, I need to solo solo this. Let me solo this. Solo this. Okay, that's fine. So let's start working on with, with this uh, um, clay tool. Oh no, it's digging in again. I hate, I hate this honestly. I honestly do. Just a moment ago, it was pulling out, but now it's digging in. Let's just forget about that brush. Let me see if this one will do a better job. It's digging, <laughs> digging in also. <laughs> Let's just stick with a standard brush. Uh, no, though it's limiting us, but but what are we going to do? Let's just work with what with what we have. So as you can see, I'm trying to build that up. Time to try to build that up. Build that up around here also. Build that. Build the mesh up. Okay. Do a build. Build this around here also. Then with my smooth brush, I can reduce the intensity of this. I'm going to smooth this back in. 
move this back into the mesh build that up again okay okay uh get a closer view let me reduce take down the subdivision and do a smooth on this just a light smooth on this to make that blending properly take that up again round four I think I need to have some more build up in here my smooth brush and blend that back in Okay, I have my symmetry turned on, which is fine. Thinking, take this down a bit more. Okay, doesn't need to be poking out too much. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we can we can do in here so let me let me get that flat surface in there so let me take down my brush size and kind of get that flat face in here i'll use my smooth brush to smooth this okay that's fine Okay, let me increase my brush size a bit more and add some build up. And add some build up around here. Add some around here also. My brush, my smooth brush, I can dye that back in. Okay, let me take this off a bit. Do some more in here. I'm just doing, I'm just doing like some light strokes on this. some light strokes on this it my smooth brush I can smooth that back in I just want to give it some kind of some volume in there shouldn't be just flat shouldn't be just flat but this, this is more like this is more like um, a knife a knife made in the jungle or something whereby you don't have those machineries to make it look completely flat like 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 a kitchen knife this is definitely not, not a kitchen knife so it doesn't need to be too flat it needs to have some kind of volume to this yeah i think this is fine this is fine for now it's fine for now i can take this brush down a bit more and add some depth in here i'll hold out to get some depth in here my smooth brush increase that way up and kind of blend that back in blend that back in that on the edge okay i'll do a save let me save this real quick okay so now that we have so now that we have that volume in there we have that volume in there which is fine I think I need to smooth this down a bit more on the edge. Okay. So now I can start adding adding the curves in there. 
<clears throat> so with my okay let me start with let's start with let me start by quoting this having this depth in here having that depth in there I think so I use my depth standard brush my depth standard brush let me take this up a bit I can do something like this yeah something like this should work maybe down around here yeah that's fine okay then i'll do a slightly tiny one let me reduce this way down a bit more the tiny one going around this I think my hands are not straight enough maybe I should subdivide this to the mention maybe modify the lower subdivision is active Oh no, my head was zebra just crashed on me. I think I added too much. So zebra just crashed on me because I increased the subdivisions way too much. So adding this again, let me uh let me change my workspace. Choose the dem standard brush. Take down the brush size. Increase this a bit more, okay. Then I would I go in here and start carving out that line. Yeah, something like this should be fine. Let me turn on my lazy mouse so I can do a better job on this. So my lazy mouse, I'll drag this down, increase this. So I'll get a better. So get that precision on this. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll go. I'll go to the standard brush. I'll take this down. Uh, maybe I'll increase the lazy mouse radius. Increase this and take down the lazy mouse steps. Hold out. Kind of dig into this. I won't do that. I think I need a bigger brush size. Slightly bigger brush size for this. Now that's that's way too big. Yeah, this is fine. Just kind of following. Kind of following this. Okay, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit more closer to this. Okay, no, let me leave it. That's fine. It's fine there. So this is fine. So I have that in here now. Let me let me quickly save this. Let me let me save this quickly. Okay, 
so uh, I have that now. Uh, I think I need to build. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need to add this kind of. There's a tiny one down here. But before I add that, let's do a build up. As you can see, there's a, there's a kind of build up on this on this edge. Let's kind of add that build up on that edge. So the build up on the edge. Yeah, that's some. Um, let me okay. Let me smooth, let me take down the brush size and do do a smooth thing here. Take down the smooth intensity. Kind of smooth smooth that in there. Okay, that's fine. So I want to add that build up in here. So I take down the brush size for my standard brush. And I need to can we make this faded at the edge? Okay, that's fine. So let me add the build up here. Oh, I need to take out, I need to take down my lazy mouse. So I hit hell hell on the keyboard to turn off your lazy mouse. Yeah, should be hell. Ah. Okay, turning off my lazy mouse. I can let me add the build up in here first. I can see a cutting. There's a cutting there also. Let me kind of add that. Ah. Let me turn off the lazy mouse for my for my them standard tool also. Smooth brush to smooth the. Let me take down the intensity of my smooth brush and smooth this. Okay. I think I overdid that. I think that should be fine. Smooth this. Okay, that's fine. Uh, my standard brush, let me add the build up in here. Let me reduce this. Reduce this. Uh, I think my intensity. My intensity. Let me take down the intensity of this. Increase the brush size a bit. Okay. Now we're adding that build up. On the edge, okay. My smooth brush, let me increase the intensity, dial that back in. Closer view on this and an angle to this. Increase the intensity of this. My smooth brush doesn't seem to be working as it should. So something definitely wrong with that brush. Set the clear brush. Okay, let me go to my light box. Go to brushes for my smooth brush. Smooth brush. Um, let me use this smooth stronger. Okay. The smooth stronger. That's too intense. Yeah, that's more like it. So you can blend this back in. You can blend this back in. Okay, that's fine. Use this.
Okay. For that build up in there now. Uh, you know, since this part is more closer to the edge, should have done mine more closer to the edge, but still okay. Still okay. Let me go in and add some of the build up. Let me add some build up on the edge. Take down my brush size. Some build up on the edge. And some of these little little details that that makes this stuff actually pops out really nice. Okay. My smooth brush. Let me smooth this out. Okay, uh, with my with my them standard now I can. Um, think let me do something in here. You see, there's a flat surface in here. Kind of adding that flat surface around here. With my smooth brush I can blend that back in nicely. Okay, that's fine. We'll do a save. Okay. I think I still need to smooth in here a bit more. Let me take down my brush size. Okay. That's fine. Let's see if we can add the build up in here also. Close to the edge. Still going to be smoothing this back in. Let me kind of add that build up there first. Then with my smooth brush, I'm smooth that back in. Uh, I think I overdid it. I take down my brush so I have, I have more precision in there. Okay. Okay. So now I need to have the add, add finally add that sharp line. The sharp line in here. So with my dem standard, I turn on the lazy mouse. Turn on my lazy mouse. Increase this up a bit more. Take down my brush. I can start filling that in. Let me reduce the intensity down a bit more. Let me start from in here. Try 
trying to do this as careful as I can. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So now, now I, can, I can use the pinch brush. I can use the pinch brush. Close my pinch brush. I'll go to the brush panel. Pinch brush. Crease of this pinch brush. So I want to drag this. That's too much. Let me take down the intensity of this pinch brush. It's kind of sharpening this, sharpening that depth a bit more. It can bring bring those edges closer together. That's way too much. Yeah, that's better. So now we're done with this. So in the next lesson, we're going to carry on and then add more detail to the other parts of the mesh.